All right, welcome back. Medical school may not be accurately preparing doctors for the real world. That's a warning that comes in a new book written by a doctor. He says students fresh out of medical school are more susceptible to burnout and being overworked, which then compromises in turn patient safety. It comes as a recent survey shows that 40% of junior doctors plan to leave their positions as soon as they secure another job. Meanwhile, about one in every four nurses polled said they want to quit in the next year or two as well. All right, let's get some thoughts here. Uh, actor, writer, producer, Colleen Brennan uh, joins us along with Rick Van House, founder and president of No Advertising. Um, hello to you both. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you, when, when I first heard this headline, you? I'm doing all right, doing all right, that it might not, school, my, medical school might not prepare you for the real world. I thought to myself, what job prepares you for the real world, right? Nothing. Like you, you, you go to school and then you get a job and you're like, oh, wow, this is what it's really about. But I guess the point here is that it's not like, you know, going on t TV and talking about the news. I mean, this is a doctor, you know, when you talk about patients' lives. But I guess, what, what do you make of it? I think it. Uh, I think it's a good question. And I'm wondering why we never asked this question to begin with. I mean, have we been actually training doctors uh, adequately to deal with real life in the first place? Um, or, or do we finally have like the data to back up these questions, to look at the model of training, to realize that it's not really working and it maybe hasn't been working for a while. Um, I don't want a sleep deprived doctor uh, problem solving my deepest medical issues. So all right. I'm all up for looking at the model and looking to see whether or not we need to change things up a bit. Rick? Yeah, Blake, um, listen, yep. uh, if these guys are no good, I, I think we need to get them out of there, right? Let's let them burn out. Let's let's get the ones that can handle it in uh, and actually work with those that, that can deal with being a doctor and going to school for, for 10 years. I mean, I don't know about your doctor, but, you know, mine's 100, plays golf, still reads the newspaper. I mean, this is a stable guy. I'm not going to a kid doctor. But, you know, I, I, I wonder, one of, the things I, one of the things, one of the things I... I I've thought about a lot um, since, you know, since COVID and, and sort of what happened with all of that is, is there going to be a shortage of essential personnel uh, down the line? Because we've sort of gotten into this environment of like, hey, you can work from home and you can do that and you can make money this way, that way. But at the end of the day, we need doctors, nurses, teachers, firefighters, et cetera, educators. Um, and you saw that stat there among nurses, right? Like, it, like where does this go? Well, and what jobs are they getting? What are they leaving the medical profession for? What, what looks more attractive after you've gone through 10, 12 years of education and residencies and fellowships right. that makes you want to actually leave this position? And if it is exhaustion, if it's sleep deprivation, if it's quality of life that's crummy, if you don't feel like you've got the time on your feet to actually problem solve and, and, uh, and handle things, then maybe we need to look at how we're staffing and structuring the medical care system in both how we handle stuff on the business end and how we handle stuff on the training end. Rick, um, well, well onto another topic, and, and I'll start with you to get your thoughts on it, because a LinkedIn post uh, from the entrepreneur, uh, famous actor as well, Sunil Shetty, has gone viral after he said that younger generations favoring remote work is a detriment to them. Now, he argues those new to the workforce need an in-person working environment to get real-life experience and face real pressures. He, um, he said the following, if we could put it up on the screen. This was a, a LinkedIn post. He said, quote, I've noticed an increasing number of young kids entering the workforce who favor opportunities that allow remote working. While work from home was great in many ways until the pandemic lasted, the invaluable experiences and growth opportunities that come from being physically present in a real world work environment cannot be ignored. Do you agree with him? Uh, you know, I think in-person work is it can be important. Hey, if I was going to be a doctor, well, I have to be in person, right? That's one of the catches. But I have an advertising degree. They're handing those out like candy. So, you know, running an ad agency like I do, you know, remote work isn't a terrible thing. It's part of our lives. I think that one of the issues, sure, Gen Z is a little lazy and wants to work from the sofa and watch Price is Right, but also the leadership doesn't want to have to intentionally teach staff. They don't want to work any harder either. 
Uh, and if people are at home, I know it because I do it with my entire team, virtual company, you have to be more intentional. You have to reach out. You have to talk to people. You're not going to see them at the water cooler anymore. You got to make the yeah. phone call. You got to send the letter. You got to do it. What and is it's the, hard what work is the for water leaders. cooler these days? What is the water cooler these days? I was thinking about that too the other <laughs> That's day. Like, the, is, uh, the Colleen, open, is there, is there the, a water the open cooler lunchroom, these days? Uh, you know, chat room where we all share pictures of our, our pets and <laughs> movies and the latest shows that we're watching. It's It's different, you know? Yeah. It is Maybe different. I, can't talk about, I can't talk about must see TV anymore because I'm too old. But uh, do they even <laughs> have that anymore? Um, I don't know. I, I want this question to be solved because I've got kids who are going to be looking for jobs real soon. And I want to make sure that they're employed and prepared for the workplace. Um, uh, but I, I kind of think of it like dating. Like, would I like do a virtual date? Would I do a not in person date? Oh, no. I'm sure there's that too. I know you wouldn't, but yes. I'm sure there's that too these days, Colleen, right? I mean, look, um, <laughs> I might be married yeah. with four kids, but I've got buddies. Uh, all they do is they do I'm the sure. dates on the apps. There's no yeah, phone yeah, yeah. calls. That's, that's it goes right from the app the right to the text. It's crazy. <laughs> yep. All right. Colleen, uh, Rick, got to leave it there. Interesting stuff. Good talk. Thanks. For Thanks, guys. Thanks, Blake. Yep.